Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Auction Master plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which has loads of features, it has some add-ons and overall is really fantastic. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first of all, if we do 4 slash AH, that's going to give us the GUI, the auction menu, where we have the auction browser to see what is for sale. We can view our bids and see what we've bidded on so far. And then finally, we can manage our own auctions and put stuff up for sale. So let's look at the auction browser first of all. And as you can see on the left, we've got loads of different categories from armor to tools to blocks and food and whatnot. So if we just click on these, you can see the different items for sale on each. I've used my account and my other accounts put just random items for sale. And if we hover over them, we can see the seller, so my other account, the starting bid, 500 coins, and it ends in 12 hours. So then if we were to click on one, it's going to give us some more info. So up at the top, the same info. If we hover over the gold ingot, it's going to show the bid amount. So if we were to bid, it will be 500 coins. However, if we click this, we can actually change the starting bid. So imagine we want to bid $600. We can do that, or 600 coins. And it's going to show there. It'll be the first bid, as there's no history. Then we click submit. We need to do this twice as there is a safety measure in place to make sure you don't accidentally bid like $1,000. And if we go into view bids, we can see we are now bidding on two items, an axe and a cake. And you can see the top bidder and how much. We could click on it again and put a higher bid. So now if we submit that for $1,000, go back into the menu and then go to blocks, we can see that cake now has two bids and I'm the highest bidder. So that is what it looks like. Now if we click the search, button at the bottom we can actually search for a specific item now if you've got a really big server that's very busy um, and there's loads of things for sale you might want to search for a specific thing so if we type in sword or cake or whatever it'll pop up with whatever the item is we can then sort by highest or lowest bid ending soonest or most bids uh, which is a pretty useful feature then if we go back we can have a look at what else this plugin has to offer so let's go ahead and make something for sale so manage auctions, we've got five here at the moment. You can see they show all their end times and starting prices. And obviously if we click one, it will show more info about it. It will say submit bid, but obviously we're the owner, so we can't. So let's go back and click manage auctions. Now, this is where we can choose our items. So if we go ahead and look at the button up here, it says click an item in your inventory. So let's go ahead and click the TNT. And what it's gonna do is pop up there. Here it is. Now the button's turned green and we could create it. So let's change the starting bid first of all. So type in whatever number you want. So maybe for TNT, 111 uh, is going to be the starting price. And there is a fee for starting higher than this, as you can see. Then the duration. So how long do we want it to last for? So there's various durations here, or there's a custom amount. So 12 hours, that's going to be an extra fee. There's also a custom duration. So if we put five here, this is going to last for five hours for a fee of 40 coins. And then we can go ahead and click create auction. So click it once. It's going to take us to a new page where we're going to confirm it. And our auction has been created. So if we now go into the GUI again and go into blocks, you can see TNT there with seller and starting bids that we set up. Now in front of me, you can see the displays of all the auctions. And obviously, if you right click this, it's going to bring up the same GUI where you can put in bids um, and look at the bid history. So how did we create this? Well, this is an add-on to the plugin. It's the item display add-on. I'll link that in the description. So if you do 4 slash AH display, it's going to show you all the commands. If we do AH display get and then the position of the auction. So position 10 is going to be a particular item. So in this case, it's oak, oak planks and it shows you who is the owner of it. So it shows me in red and then my other account. And if you just type in random numbers, it is going to give you the position. If you type in a number that doesn't exist, it's just going to be blank. And obviously zero doesn't exist either, so it's not going to give us anything. If we type in number two, for example, we can see what this is. That's a diamond sword by myself. Now, if you want to remove this, you can't just smash it away. You actually need to use the removal tool. So the way we do that is AH display and then get removal. Or we can do forward slash AH display removal. So once we've done this, all you need to do is go to one you don't want, right click and it will be disappeared. And then finally, we've got AH admin. Now that's going to bring up a few things. So we can actually create NPCs if you've got citizens. So I don't have this plugin, so it's obviously going to give me an error message, but that is how you'd create them. You can also send deliveries to a particular player. So let's choose a player, for example. So maybe Steve, um, he's not a real player. It will show his head up at the top. 
and we can either send a delivery, set a delivery or remove one. So let's go ahead and deliver some coins to him. So click this, type the amount in the sign and then we can click done and it's going to say delivery sent to Steve, 155 coins. You can also manage ended auctions here and then you can manage active auctions. So if you click one, you get you have the ability to end them, delete bids, delete them completely, etc. Uh, which is pretty cool if there's some foul play at work there. So that is a look at how the plugin works in-game. So here we are on the Auction Master Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.88 to 1.16. And then if we scroll down, you can see this looks really nice. There's loads of information. So you need Protocol Lib and Vault or an equivalent currency plugin. And if you want the NPCs to work, you obviously need Citizens. Scroll down and we've got information about all of the YML files, the configs. And then we've got some nice GIFs or GIFs, uh, some people say. And then down at the bottom, if you do need any help, you can obviously contact the developer on their Discord. Here is the other plugin that I downloaded, so Auction Master Item Display Add-on. So this is going to give you uh, the item displays which we showed in game. But that is the plugin. I think it's really fantastic, it works really well, and has loads of cool features. So if you want to download it, come over to the Zwigit page. Download now is up here. So if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.